this video is so long overdue, so I thought I might as well just like finish it. So yeah. So about a month or maybe even more now because I'm so incredibly lazy and just delay everything. So about a month ago, I made a video on how like um how like I make my Osu overlay something like this, like this. Where it's just an overlay, and over here you can see the screen. The chat's gonna be here, face cam, whatever. So I've just been delaying everything, and since the day I had time, I was uh, and I said like to myself, I was gonna edit the video, and then I remember that I already recorded the video for Streamlabs, so I thought I did, but I lost the video and I don't know where it is. So anyways, th this is the one that we made, the one that I made on made, on the video. Honestly, I'm not too impressed with it, but you can do whatever you want with it, so you don't have to follow me. Just do whatever you like. I don't. I didn't really put much effort into that. <laughs> it's just for a tutorial, okay? So first of all, um, I'm gonna be doing this in Streamlabs because that's what, what I stream with, not with uh, normal OBS. You can do this with normal OBS. I'm pretty sure it should be basically the same. So yeah. First of all, make a new scene by pressing this plus button. Just enter the name of your of your scene. Your tutorial, and now it's gonna be over here on the bottom, and it's completely empty, which is just black screen. So, first of all, press this plus button on the sources tab, and once you have done this, go press on the image, add source, press this uh, what is it? Switch, and then just put overlay. And add source now for the image file just go browse and look for the image file here it is and done so yeah now we that we have this go ahead and uh, we want over here to have like the gameplay or whatever so there's two ways to do this one way is to use display capture with which will display your entire screen I'll just use this one actually. This is just an example. Just an example. This uh, display capture will just show your entire screen. Let me delete this. Or the second way is to use game capture, which only displays Osu. So make a new one. Game capture. And add source. Now, for the mode, make sure you press capture specific window. And over here, um, Okay, so I'm gonna give you an example. Okay, if I open Osu. Welcome to us. Click this. Okay. There you go. It says Osu. I press done. And once you've done that, just go into Osu and if you click something that interacts with the screen, it should load into here. Now the screen will, will pause if you alt tab or leave the game so uh, that will be that so for now we'll just put this game capture underneath the overlay layer meaning you just drag it down and so now this is underneath my uh, overlay so as you can see it doesn't go through it so now what you, what you want to do is you just want to uh, move it and resize it so that it fits with this now this shouldn't be hard and if you want to do pre precise uh, movements, you can use your arrow keys to move the square around a tiny bit, as you can see, by one pixel each. And just there you go, it's sized. And yeah, this part is very easy to do. And for the now playing text, this will be you're gonna need another step for this. So you have to install what is uh, this which is a stream companion app for osu so how you install it is basically you go to chrome you just search up osu stream companion to the osu forums it's the top one you, you scroll down and you click on this download button right here it will tell uh it will it will link you to a github page and you just want to scroll down 
and press this one and only this one you can use the rest but uh, this is the one that you need so just go ahead and do this and install it while installing it should give you like a couple of steps on what to do like I'm pretty sure it's gonna uh, tell you to play a certain beat maps on the certain difficulty with certain mods and you just have to do that and it should finish the setup now basically once you have finished the setup you're gonna have this application now run it with your osu it doesn't matter which starts first unless you're using an overlay which we are not so i don't have to restart my osu then so we have this now you just have to go ahead and play a song So, as you can see, the song I uh, I was playing in the game, I paused the song because I don't want to get copyrighted, um, is actually listed over here as well. So what you can do is you can just window capture and put it there. But what I like to do is I like to make a new source, make it a text uh, source, and a new source instead. Um, now playing tutorial. There you go. Add source and now what you want to do is this is the font so you just pick whatever font you want it to be it doesn't really matter it's all up to you so I'm just gonna pick like uh, this one for example I don't know man it doesn't matter so now uh, what you want to do is you want to press this button read from file and you want to press browse now what you want to do is you want to actually go over here and you want to you want to press this stream companion file save location press open, and this is gonna open a folder, and over here you're gonna see the path of where this is. So just go ahead and navigate there on this open uh, windows. So local this C program file eighty six, and then search for stream companion files, and here we are. So, if I press settings over here and I go to output patterns, I'm pretty sure you might have to do this. Okay, so just go to the output patterns in the settings of the app. I press this button and go to output patterns. Over here it says formatting. Now, it should already be like this when you first... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be like an additional something in here in the back. So really all you have to do is just drag from here to the back and just delete it. So what's left is exclamation map exclamation mark map artist title exclamation mark and map div. That's all you need. And you press save the save button right down here. If you don't press it, it won't work. So that's done. You have to do is go press the all, which is the one we just edited, and press open. And there you go, it will show you um the map that you're playing as a text by reading from this now keep in mind that this will only work if you have the stream companion app open meaning every time that you that you're gonna want this the text you are going to need to have the stream companion open so if you're playing also just have it open in the background so now what what I, I like to do is I like to make it scroll so just press the filter and press the plus button uh, uh, press this drop down and find scroll press done and we can see horizontal speed and vertical speed so I'm just gonna increase this so that it scrolls like that now we don't want it to be too fast that people can't read it but we don't want it to be too slow either so let's make it make it loop and limit the width to uh, whatever fits that so I'm just gonna increase it until you know it, it gets it gets to this place. Stay faded, but I'm somehow lucid. I don't know if I know what the truth is. I've been on my own shit too long, baby, feeling so broken. But it's all my fault. Better you go, never was the right call. Now I'm all alone in this broke down car. Got a whole lot of problems. I don't know how to So, like that, we have this 
scrolling from here to here and it's gonna loop around um, after it's done every time so and now basically we have the game capture and this and for the face cam you just have to press this plus button um, go to the video capture device I think yes and then press uh, add new source and just put like whatever webcam you have now I don't have any connected so I'm gonna use the OBS virtual camera cuz uh, you know it's just an example doesn't have to be an actual working cam it's for an example you know so just line it up to be there just put it down and if you need to crop it what you want to do is you want to right click it press transform go to edit transform and there you can crop it or you can also just you know change the size of it so that it fits for 100 for 60 for 80 90, 500 there you go the camera there and the chat chat is easy now we do need a uh, if you're on streamlabs well, you don't have to worry you just have to go over here and uh, go to the widget go to chat box add source and just drag it there you know it's really easy Oop. and we're done you know now this will only show while I'm streaming though so I cannot preview it now and the other way can also only be shown when I'm streaming so I can always preview it as well so the other way to do it is um, go to your YouTube studio the live dashboard here it is so this is what the live stream dashboard looks like this is the link to go to the live dashboard um, what you want to do is you want to go to the live, ch live chat uh, you see this three dots just click that and click pop out chat you can close this back page now what you want to do is you want to um, copy this link by pressing ctrl c add a new source go to browser source add source uh, i'm just gonna add a new source put the link in here and it will show your uh your chat so you can just have that and put it behind overlay and there you go the chat is there so that's if you're on OBS the longest part is probably putting in the now playing because you have to download an extra software for that I don't think there's any other way to do it without this software so if you don't want to put the now playing you don't you should probably shouldn't if you don't want to download any like extra software but well there's that you can close that uh, window because this is actually opening the browser itself so you don't have to open the you don't have to need you don't have to you don't need to have the window open yourself so that's basically it there's nothing else really to say and yeah this video is so long overdue so i thought i might as well just like finish it so yeah